My name is Yazber Kokan and I'm a qualified lawyer in Turkey. I recently passed the QLTS assessments and have been admitted to the role of solicitors. I completed my bachelor's degree in Turkey at Dokuzeli University. And after completing my legal internship here, I moved to London to study Masters in Commercial Law in King's College London. Uh, then I moved back to Turkey to complete my qualification as a Turkish lawyer here. Then I moved back to London and worked there for two years, almost two years, as an in-house lawyer in a company. For the last two years I've been in Turkey, now I'm working in Istanbul at Ina Law Firm as an associate. I heard about the QLTS while I was studying in London. Uh, when I first decided to take the assessments, I wasn't sure how it would benefit me, but uh, I was quite sure that uh, being qualified as a solicitor in England and Wales would be beneficial for my career in every way. After doing a bit of a research about the assessments and the requirements, I realized that I needed assistance with my preparations. Back then, I didn't know anyone else who took the assessments before, so I did a research online and I realized that the QLTS school would be the best option for me. As soon as I received the materials for the MCT by mail, I realized that the handbooks were very well written and uh, back then I was working during the day and I only had time to study in the evenings after I came home from work. So I didn't really have time to look through any other books uh, other than those that were uh, especially prepared for the QLTS assessments. These were very helpful for me. And likewise for the OSCE and uh, TLST, uh, the mock exams were very similar to the ones we had during the actual assessments, so it was very helpful for me to know what to expect. The most beneficial parts of the course were the MCT materials for me. Uh, they were not too shallow or too overcomplicated. They gave just the right amount of information for relevant to the assessment. At that time I was working as an in-house lawyer in London, um, therefore I didn't have much time to study during the day. Um, I could only study in the evenings for two, three hours on weekdays and on the weekends I studied for a total of five to six hours. Yes, uh, actually they were very supportive. Um, I used to be able to carry my textbooks with me to work and uh, I was allowed to study if provided that we were free, of course. Thanks to the materials and assistance provided by the QLTS school, the multiple choice tests for the MCT and the mock exams for the OSCE and TLST, uh, I felt very well prepared when I went to take the assessments and that was a huge help for me. I'm an associate in, in our law firm in Istanbul now. I mostly work on maritime, commercial and corporate matters. Most of the agreements related to my area of expertise adopt English law and it really helps to have an insight or general knowledge about the English law even if I'm not practicing as a solicitor at the moment. Also just the fact that you are qualified as a solicitor in England and Wales opens many doors as well. I think it's especially necessary for people like me who are initially not entirely familiar with the English system 
and the requirements of the assessments. I believe it's best to start preparations at least six months in advance. And I also would recommend taking your time, especially with the OSCE, unless you feel like you're prepared to take the exam. I think it's advisable to give it a try, even if you're not willing to work in England as a solicitor. Um, if you're up for the challenge or if you're feeling like being qualified as a solicitor in England and Wales would benefit you in the long term. I believe a modern lawyer is expected to be able to think and work in an international level. The most essential skill I can think of right now is being aware of the general concepts in different systems of law. Um, also, I think uh, being aware and following up on recent developments, both legally and commercially, is essential.